Hello, and welcome to another video about a show you decided wasn't worth your time. We have something to show you. You are here to now be convinced on why you should finally sit down and binge watch the biggest and greatest show ever. I've never seen a thing like this, not ever in my life. I don't even have to say its name. You know what I'm talking about, guys. Friends. How you doing? Heh, <laughs> kidding. Maybe next time. Today, it's Game of Thrones. Seven of your friends have already tried to get you to watch it, but you've said no. No! God, please, no! No! Yes, season eight wasn't perfectly executed, but this series overall is gold. Game of Thrones, as you know, is a Lord of the Rings inspired show for adults. There's swords, huge battles and mystical things, but where the two differ is in the why. Why do people do things? What are people's motives? And how can they climb the ladder of power? Lord of the Rings, on the other hand, doesn't have too much gray area. It's about good versus evil, and the literal personification of evil is the ring they have to destroy along with the one it belongs to. The enemy simply wants the world of Middle-earth to burn and be his. Game of Thrones, though similar, is very different in philosophy. Here we stand, in mutual admiration and respect. They ask things like, do loyal men who don't desire power really make great kings? Or how would a functioning kingdom be run after the war is over? Oh. <laughs> how are people living? And how does a war get started in the first place? And would a king and queen really live happily ever after? Or is that all BS? It's a neat little trick you do. You move your lips and your father's voice comes out. George R.R. R. Martin gives us the dirt in the behind the scenes political ventures Lord of the Rings never did. And to really stand out, they added the sex. Not just smooch smooch, it's over sex scenes. I mean, fast forward before your mom comes in and thinks you're watching porn and have to explain that the story is really why you watch it, she judges you at the dinner table sex scenes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Alex, anything you want to say? Uh <laughs> <laughs> so, why watch a show full of sex, violence, and incest? Well, why read the Bible if those same things exist, right? No show has ever really depicted the Bible realistically and keep it more PG for children. Game of Thrones would basically be that, the uncut, unfiltered, raw version we weren't supposed to see. Yes, it has dragons, white walkers, and battles, but it also has a rich history revealed in stories throughout the show, letting you know that this world has been there a while. The first season sets up the plot and introduces you to the Stark family, which are royalty in the north. The king's right-hand man is killed, so he goes way up there to the north to get Ned Stark. His old friend from years back to help him rule because he doesn't trust anyone around him. The king can't stand his wife, but his wife's family is the richest family in Westeros and his kingdom is in debt to her dad. To add some more tension on a collapsing marriage, there's a girl named Daenerys Targaryen who's on a different continent. He's been trying to kill her for years because her father ruled before him and she actually is the rightful bloodline to the throne, so he chased her and her brother away from Westeros. She of course marries her own king whose customs are very different from her land and slowly but surely adapts his ways as well as learns her true nature passed down through her bloodline. Her brother arranges all this out of entitlement and greed hoping this king will provide him with an army to invade his homeland and take his daddy's kingdom back. Seriously, this show is as good as it gets when it comes to drama. How do you know this? I drink and I know things. It's like watching Medea with swords. I'm Medea. Mud to the damn D E A. <laughs> nah, just kidding. You funny. It's like if the Bible had a fan fiction cousin, they decided, hey, what if I ramp it up to 11 on everything and add flying fire spitters, zombies, giants, and a huge 700 foot ice wall? Welcome. If you like details and layers, you're gonna love this show, and the replay value of it will only get better because you'll miss something the first time through, and on the second watch, see it and be like, oh snap. <laughs> Your eyes will finally be opened and be enlightened by great television. If I was able to convince you to at least give the first episode a try, comment below. And if you're still skeptical about it, watch this scene out of context and be amazed about what's to come. What the little climb, aren't you? How old are you, boy? Ten. Ten. The things I do for love. 